boom. What's going on guys? Jose and Barbara here. What's going on guys? We're reporting live from fucking Hurricane Henry. You already know. Listen, we just recorded the update for you guys. We recorded the YouTube video. You already know. It's going to play right after this little intro. Have fun with it. Vibe with it. It's our new setup. We're experimenting. New flows, new vibes, new area, new update. Enjoy the fucking YouTube video. Chill out, Barbara. You got anything for the people about to watch this? Take a look at the space. Take, take a look at the setup. Take, take a look at the setup, bro. Preview. More just, things to come. You already know, we just recorded this. Enjoy the video, guys. It's like a little small snippet of the actual full thing. We're going to start doing video and audios right here. So you already know, enjoy this clip. You already know, doses. Peace. All right. Get it, Barbara. All right. Well, this is an exciting episode because obviously, as you guys see, we're in a new space here. Um, nah, give that intro, man. Be like, yo, what up, my motherfucking niggas? <laughs> that, that, that's yeah. you. That's you. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I He's the operations that. manager. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're, you're the personality. Yeah. So, um, we're in a very um special place here. This is the Staples slash Staples. iHeartMedia collab. It's the Staples Connect in the Government Center in Boston. Yeah. So, um, you know, Staples is partnering with iHeartRadio to provide the equipment and you know this is a space that we could potentially be doing the podcast out of so that's a little update about our space um some more updates on where relate we got a lot of things in the chamber right jose here so um first update we can give you guys is we have merch on the way we're in the talks with um the manufacturer right now and the person that we're going to be working with on the merch we're going for good quality but not too expensive either so Keep on the lookout for that. We should be expecting like a fall slash winter drop. Maybe some hoodies, some beanies, something like that. Some crew, um, some long sleeve crew neck sweatshirts. Um, and then what else updates we got for the people? Who do we have coming up uh, next on the calendar? Actually, nah, I don't even want to tell them who we got coming on because that's the point. That's like the, like it's the fun shit. You want to stay tuned. Out, you want to figure out every week. That's the point. But what's going on, my real relay family? What is going on? Yes, we in a new place today. I feel like we went from like doing it in the Zoom in my fucking attic on Zoom to like the Hub Fifty and doing it there. And now we're at the fucking. I feel like everyone uses this fucking same space as well too. But um, but yeah, we're in the Staples area. Yeah, we got some dope shit on the way. Like Barbara said, we got some merch on the way. We got a website coming out too as well too. We working on the website. Um, and then we got a special guest today too. Yo, Barbara, introduce. I, yes, sir. Yeah. Um, well, this is my first time meeting you. I've heard about you a lot, Jim Rat, like Swole, all the way, right? <laughs> ladies, Ty Tyler. I try, I try. Ladies, ladies. Go ahead and introduce yourself. This is, this is your guy right here. I'm, I'm the guy. I am who they call Tea Boogie, White Chocolate Mocha, Extra Whip <laughs> Cream. They, I got millions of names, but I, I go by Tyler on the street. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he said I got I go by Tyler on the street. These these kids are always clowning me about like my gym ratness, but like, what's a boy to do? I mean, I was like 340 pounds, chonky as fuck. And I'm just proud of my accomplishments. So, like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I flex on the gram a little. I let people know that, like, I'm proud of myself. And, you know, some people might think it's bravado, but, you know, it's just me being me. I need yeah, to, you, you know, be proud of myself a little. You, you can't be ashamed of yourself, you know? Yeah, go out there and work hard, bust your ass in the gym. You don't give a fuck. If you don't like it, suck his dick. But, all right, that's dope. Yeah, we got a website on the way, merch on the way. Today's a nice little like, little update. You know, I mean, we've had a lot of, we had the the X, the Xbox, xCloud fucking uh, streaming service come in. We had uh, the Pop Smoke review. We've had the Falco Boss Sauce uh, hot ones like uh, type of video come out. So we've been doing, like, a lot of, like, videos and shit like that, like content pieces, I like to call them. You know what I mean? Just like when me and Brian did the Let's Play with the Oculus. Right. Um, and yeah, we we just been do we just been doing that and having fun. We haven't had like a real interview slash episode in a minute, so I don't know about what comes as an episode. I maybe more like a like it's go from content a, like piece to an update, talk. and then a, yeah, a real a real talk, you know, like an update, you know, what I mean, a real update. Yeah, we got, got yeah. Like a real part. Actually, I do have a trademark in uh for or like a it, it's a postmark or a trademark for real relay. That's 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 coming in soon. I just gotta wait for a lawyer to look at it, but. But yeah, man, uh, a little update. I think that should be about it. Barber, you got a... Uh... Yeah, so today we, we just wanted to give a quick update to the Real Relay family, see what's going on. We vibing, we're chilling over here on this side. We got Matt content on the way, dope people on the way, good shit on the way. This is season two, you know the fucking vibes. We're relaxing, we're chilling right Could now. Could be it's... potentially season three if we get this studio locked down. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we locked down the studio for sure. Um, fucking... 
yeah, I'm excited. This is gonna be the new spot if we if we fuck with it. So yeah. But today we got that's pretty much for the update. Nothing nothing else coming out. We're chilling, everyone's vibing. Um Barbara's got some questions for us today, actually. Yeah, so we put a poll up on Instagram to get some questions from you guys so we can answer them here on the on the podcast today. For you guys to get to know us a little bit better, right? Start creating that narrative, start um getting a little bit more intimate with you guys. Um, you know, we like to get nice and intimate here. So I'll start off with the first question. Um Jose, I guess I'll ask you, what's your yeah. biggest fear in life? Damn. By the way, some context. When this, I don't know when this shit, this shit will drop. Like next Thursday or whatever. I'm the and, dude. First of all, there's a fucking hurricane outside. Dedicated. Don't Hur- say we hurricane not, Henry. Hurricane Henry with a I. Don't say we not dedicated. And uh, fucking, we're fucking rinsed last night. This morning we're fucking beat right now. And you're gonna ask me what my biggest fear is. <laughs> Fuck. My biggest fear was this morning. <laughs> waking up. <laughs> waking up this morning. Ah, uh, my biggest fear. Ah, uh, my biggest fear. That's a tough one. I feel <sighs> Tyler, can I bounce this over to you? Oh, by the way, this is Tyler's gonna be answering questions and chilling with us today. He's just in the studio with us today, chilling. Go ahead, Tyler, you go first. What type of answer are we looking for though? We, we want philosophical. Yeah, or let, we want, let, like, let's we wherever, gotta, wherever your mind takes you, however you want to answer my, it. My mind goes to two places. First thing is the ocean, all right? And like we could talk about like how the ocean is just like like people just have a general fear of drowning to begin with, and sharks, but like we got giant squids in the ocean. Like we don't talk about how we have literal dinosaurs just chilling in the ocean. Like the what was it like last week we saw that alligator the lady that was uh, taming the alligator right. She, oh, I seen that video, yeah, dude. To, like she's known this alligator for like years, right? She goes to put her hand to feed him, and then she just snaps onto him, just turns her around. They had to have like multiple dudes hop on that alligator and wrestle him. It's like, dude, there are literal... so that's your biggest fear, alligators? No, not alligators. <laughs> but like, think of how unexplored the ocean is right now. Think of how unexplored yeah. the ocean is, and we don't know what's going. So on. So what about there. space, dude? But here's the thing: space is miles and miles away, right? You, I mean, well, obviously, like, it's, it's. I hope it's more than it, miles yeah, and miles it, away. It, it's above the hemisphere. Yeah. But w- what I'm saying is, like, you can go on a boat, right? In the like, just take a cruise. You take a cruise, and first off, if, if you're taking a cruise, you're the worst type of person. What the fuck? I've been on like three cruises, and that that's yeah, my that point. Probably, that yeah, that that's also probably point. explains that. But like, say you're on a cruise, right? You're going to Bermuda, and then next thing you know, you're deep in that ocean. You don't know what's underneath you. You don't know how deep it goes. You don't. So know- that's what scares you, like the <laughs> the bottom of like the ocean and shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> just yeah. like the unknown of it. The unknown of it, and I mean, like, I, dude, like what? Like you have to think of whales, right? Like whales are huge, right? And whales can whales can hide actually pretty well. They're, they're large mammals, but like if they if they want to go incognito, for the most part, they can. I mean, they're they're heavily fished at this point. <laughs> they go Bravo six. Go yeah, dark. they can go Bravo <laughs> six though, right? And the thing is, like, if an animal that large can go Bravo six, like, there's definitely other animals that can go Bravo six too. And you have those like angler fish with the with the little. So your so your biggest and... fear is like the deep dark parts of the ocean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then like more philosophical, I think I think everyone's fear really is failure. Um, you know, I feel like that prevents us from doing like anything that we want is just failure because you don't know what's on the other side. Yeah. But uh, other than that, man, like I, I ain't got I, I'm fearless. I feel I feel like my biggest fear is like one of my one of my biggest fears I think is like not that people don't like me, but like I try really hard to like. Like, just be, like, cool with everybody. You know what I mean? That's, like, my MO. That's, like, the brand. You know what I mean? And to have someone, like, not fuck with me, like, that kind of hurts a little bit, I guess. But, like, I got to a point where now I'm just like, yo, if you don't like me, like, you can suck my dick. Like, at that point. I feel like you don't care about your image. I feel like if you're, like, dude, if Pete, because, like, we've legit seen you rubbing, like, like, we're all waiting to go out to the bars, right? Jose comes down. And like tidy whities shirtless, like like everyone's ten, watching. Like, yep, yeah, ten heads Go- the in goobers, his living room, the... and he's just rubbing lotion, cocoa butter all over yeah. himself. So like, he doesn't care in that sense. Like, yeah. he'll make a fool out of himself. But like, you can definitely tell that like Jose in like certain uh, social situations, he's like thinking like, does this person like me or what? You know? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's just, a certain look it, on his face. It just yeah. be, it's just because like I love people. You know what I mean? I love people, and I feel like. The best thing is to be with people and shit like that. I'm not saying everybody got like me. Everybody's got to fuck with me and shit like that. But like you know, my initial thing is well, to be cool. With everybody. If you, if you weren't like that, you'd be a sociopath by definition. Like if you don't care what other people think about you and you don't have empathy for other people, yeah. you know, then 
you're a sociopath. Yeah, I just don't like having beef with people because I think that's probably more. I don't like having like beef. I mean, I can, I, I have, and I, trust me, I will deal with it, and like we get it done. But I prefer to not go that route. I don't like a girl hating me because I'm talking shit or some dumb shit like that. And you know what I mean? I've had a lot of like quarrels with like girls and shit like that, <laughs> yeah. where it's like. You know, this girl's mad at me because of one thing I said to this dude and shit like that. I'm like, well, because what? I'm defending him. You know what I mean? And like, or I'll, I'll, sometimes I'll defend the girl and the dude gets mad. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, I, I defend both sides. You know what I mean? I give my like fucking opinion. If not, then don't fucking talk to me and I'll fucking be in my merry way. You know what I mean? But like, that's how it is. I would expect my friends to give me real advice as well, too, and shit like that. I think in general, my shit is just like having beef with someone and shit like that. You know, nobody wants to be like that. How about you, Barbara? I think I'm on the same page as Tyler, like, not... The ocean? No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the philosophical of uh, not being successful or, like, failing. And I think that's what, like, drives me so much and makes me work so hard is, um, you know, like, on a Sunday like today, like, coming in and working on our passion. Like, I, I love this shit, you know what I mean? And having that um, fear in the back of my head of not being successful and, like, putting my brothers on and showing them how to, like... Just work really hard. Because your brothers are going to see this. Your family. Right. They no ask matter. me about it all the time. No, They're like, oh, no, what's up with your oh, podcast? It's, hold on. And that's, that's crazy, too. Let me talk about that. It's like, listen, no matter, no matter who's listening to this right now, no, like you hear me right now, like no matter who's listening, whether it's one person, two person, just my mom, the fact that we did this shit and we came from doing it on Zoom to the hub to here in a studio, man. That's crazy. You know, to just see the personal growth in yourself, you know what I mean, your family, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy, you know? So whoever's listening right now, we appreciate this because without you, there's no us, you know what I mean? We do this, we, we do this shit to put content out for the people. You know what it is, too? Talking that shit, it's like, man, people fucking got me bored on Instagram. <laughs> like, like I just, I, and you know it, too. Yeah. Like, people are so fucking lame like this shit is boring to me i go on Inst i go on instagram i go on snapchat this shit is boring it's the same shit over and over and over and over again i'm like yo damn be i mean i'm not saying our content is the best in the world but damn at least it's at least i'm trying to put something out there be original i'm trying yeah. I'm, tr I'm i mean i don't know if i'm too original but like i'm trying to like at least put content out for people to watch and enjoy and be themselves i feel like everyone's trying to like build up and be Fucking something that they're not. I'm like, bro, just be yourself. Everyone's stunned and no one's creating. This is the yeah, thing. Like, everybody's stunned. Nobody creating. You have to understand that, like, we live in we live in a world right now, especially like in Massachusetts, where the cost of living is so high that like it takes a lot to follow your dreams because it's hard to live out here in general. So like you're yeah. risking everything just by pursuing something you want. It's not like it's not like in the '50s where you could like have a house and a home and live on like a like a waitress salary, you know. So it's like you really have to dedicate yourself and say, I don't want cer fuck certainty. I don't want certainty, even though like certainty is what keeps you safe. You know, you want that safe job. You want to do everything by the book and you don't want to do it because it's what you want to do. It's a failure, fa a fear of failure, not because it sucks to fail. But, you know, if you fail in this economy, you're going to get hit really hard. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like. When we do what we when we do this podcast, like bro, we work regular jobs. Like we have regular jobs. Like, regular nine to fives. Like yeah. we are we are out here putting content out into the world for fun because we want to create a platform to like give people opportunity. Whether you're a big creative, where you're a small creative, where you're up and coming, or whether you're just a a fan part of the real relay family. And just want to like listen and just shoot the shit and just unplug for a bit. Like that's what we're trying to be. You know what I mean? And like just to create a family in the community. You know what I mean? And cut the cancel culture shit out. I'm not saying like I said. It's not like you gotta, you know, cancel the baby and all this banana shit. Like that's crazy. You know whether I mean whether you believe that he deserved it or not. That's not the point. But the fact <laughs> that you can just like end someone's life like that and every and everyone's so afraid to say what they want to say. It's like nah, fuck that. I'm creating my own platform. I'm gonna say what I want to say when I want to say it. I'm gonna be. Granted, I'm not going to be a fucking dickhead and, like, come in here and bash the fucking whole communities and shit like that. But I shouldn't be afraid to come in here and, and talk some personal shit and be like, yo, what is my biggest fear? You know what I mean? That's okay. It's my fucking thing. 14 people are going to listen and l hear it and that's it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? And at the end of the day, I don't even give a fuck what anyone says, bro. I think our content is fucking lit. You know what I mean? I mean, to start off, we're amateur. You know what I mean? But everyone loves amateur porn. You know what I mean? <laughs> 